Hey, we're Gaz and Ginoli, and you're joining us on our Cornwall adventures. It's going to be an epic trip full of fun, good food, and the odd fail. Or two. Birds just pooped on my back. If you missed last week, we got lost with the gardens of Heligan. I feel like we're in Jumanji. We went to the cutest fishing hub we've ever been to. And Ange and Ollie had a massive game of chase around a granite egg. It is our second vlog here from Cornwall and we start the day at Lizard Point. <laughs> so was excited to go to the beach. He's even brought his own bag full of beach toys, aren't you? So, I have not got the right lens for this, Look, and I'm hoping it'll come out, you see it? but there are two is blobs it? here and here, are they? and the seals. The only way is up, Ange. <laughs> yeah, I you told can say you. it now. I told you. You can say it now. This log can only go up from here. We're in the most southern place on England, so like, you know. The only way yet. Still not still. yet, you can't use that joke yet. <laughs> Literally. The most southern point. The most southern people in all of the UK. England. Well, both work. No. No, because there's Isle of Sicily will be more. Does Isle of Wight count? <laughs> yeah, Isle of Wight is English as well. I mean, well, UK. Does it count as England? I don't know. This is the southernmost point in England. Of the mainland. That, no, I, think the, I had that, I think I had that one a little bit smoother in my head, I'm not going <laughs> to lie. But anyway, we're at Lizard Point now, so we've already seen the most southern cafe. That's official, that Ange. Yeah. The most southern cafe. Did it say of England or did it say in the UK? Of England. Britain, Ange. Yeah. Britain, not England. Not the UK. Britain. And anyone who's watching this from America is like, isn't that the same thing? <laughs> Great Britain's more than just England. <laughs> you don't just know. Like the, the Isles of Sicily and. Doesn't Great Britain like... include Ireland? I'll see you can. No, that doesn't include. That includes Northern Ireland. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> What's really cool as well is these wild, like purple flowers everywhere on the coastal path. They're, they're so pretty. So pretty. So pretty, especially when you can see seals. There's three of them now. There's three. And after we were all done with Lizard Point, we decided that because our t-shirts told us to, we were going to Kynance Cove. It actually says it on our t-shirts. <laughs> it literally says the Lizard Peninsula and Kynance Cove, so. And I guarantee you, you will not find a nicer place to visit in anywhere in Cornwall than around there. Yeah, it was absolutely beautiful. We just got there a little bit late. Yeah. Yeah, because the tower went in. <laughs> <laughs> Spoiler alert. So that's where we were, and this is where we are now. That's Lizard Point back there. And now we're just trying to figure out how to get down to Kynance Cove. Kynance Cove, yeah. We were going to walk it, and I'm so glad that we didn't. Now we're looking at that. <laughs> it looks like longer than two miles. You're looking on the map, you're like, oh, it's not too bad. That is too far to walk. <laughs> So let's head down to Kyden's Cold. We're going to try and find a beach for you, aren't we, mate? You've been after a beach all day. Mm, high tide's coming in, though, so... I know, we're going to have to hurry up. Yeah. But, oh, what a lovely spot. What a view. Ange is super nervous to be going... Oh, you've got a sponge his face, and Ange's like... You're the most clumsy person. You're <laughs> on your own feet all the time. <laughs> like, you're, like, right on a cliff. <laughs> Look at that. I'm like... Oh, oh. <laughs> Did you actually? I nearly fell over. You're such a stupid man. I don't know what you're talking about. This is the path. Imagine one of us split. Like the rocks below us. How did you get down to the beach? <laughs> Oh, 
So we made it to Kaiden's Cove. We did, we got here a little bit late though. And so did the tide. The tide beat us, so there's like, down here, we'll show you in a second, there's a little pathway yeah. across. That there is where we cut off. You can go up, up and over the top. But nah. But we, we, we've done enough <laughs> steps in the last couple of days, we don't really fancy I'm it. I'm all right, Ta. And then all back. this little area is like, usually sand. So there you go, lots of the differences between the two. Okay, all this persuaded us to come down. Just to this bit. Gaz is like, should we just go around and see if we can get back over? Should we just paddle? We don't get oh, it's a heavy one, that one. You got it? <laughs> you got it? <laughs> got it. We promised him we get him to a beach. <laughs> I found and, one. and two have failed, but Ange finally found, <laughs> I found one. one. You sat down, it's black. I mean, that, that counts. It, I mean, it is part of Kind It's Cold Beach. Yeah, it counts. I mean, we're only going to get about two minutes. Yeah, the tide's coming tide's in rapidly, coming so we're so like, quick. we're keeping an eye on it. We've put ourselves where, like, we're literally the, the steps, steps are behind are right us. Behind we're not us. being stupid. We're not going to get caught by the tide. Having fun, bud? Yep. Just need a bit of sand. Hey, look at that! <laughs> Ange, you know what I'm not looking forward to? <laughs> that. <laughs> Bye, Kaiser Score. So good. Oh. So I'd come back to Kaiser's Cove if we can't find yeah. the beach. Beautiful. <laughs> she was like, well, I'm done it. Instagram. Reality. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, my days. Oh. <laughs> See what I read about the clumsy feet? Oh, it was a hike and a half up that hill. Oh my god. And we just made it back to the car for the heavens to start yeah. open. It literally started pouring wow. down now, that's perfect How time. How lucky was that? Wow. That would have been gutted if it, having to run up the last yeah. bit of that hill if we wouldn't have made it. Oh. You enjoy that mate? Yeah. That was fun wasn't it? Right, we're heading back to the lodge. Homemade burger time? Yeah, exactly. We're going to show you Gazzy's secret recipe burgers. Oh, it won't be a secret anymore. It's okay, it's we can fine. share we'll it. Share we'll it share it with you. It. We'll share it with you. We're back. We're back at the lodge. Time to make some burgers and have a brew. Do you know what? We that was such good time in that because it literally poured it down the entire journey and now we're back. It's nice and sunny nice outside. And up, yeah. We don't buy pre-made burgers, do we, Hans? Never. Never. Disgusting. But instead, <laughs> I always make them. Yep. So, depending on how healthy you're feeling, um, mince-wise, we always get the five percent mint mince because it makes us feel a little bit healthier. Salt, pepper, paprika. Cayenne pepper as well, if you fancy it. We just didn't want to buy two. If you want to go fancy, put some garlic in it and some onion Aromat. granules. Aromat. Aromat also Aromat works. Aromat works. And then, cheese. Does that oh my god. Seriously. It's all over the floor, guys, Kay. Told you. I'm not gonna lie, I tried to do that for a bit of dramatic effect thinking it would be funny and then I realised the mistake that I made with the fact that the cheese is now Because, in. guess who's cleaning it up? Me! <laughs> Mozzarella and cheddar cheese and then that kind of binds to the meat, make sure that your meat's not cold when you're doing it and then you just rip it off, make sure you pat it down to make the burger shapes and then that's pretty much it, dead straightforward. Simple burgers. Delicious. Yeah. Really? Right, we're going to eat food. We'll back to you afterwards. <laughs> so, having tea. And look at it. I don't know if it's going to come out. Hoping it comes out. There's a rainbow. Look at it. Look at that. <laughs> well, the next day when we woke up, we decided we were going to. 
Michael's Mount. St. Michael's Mount. St. Michael's Mount, not Michael's Mount. It's not, Michael's. it's not just any Michael, it's St. Michael. <laughs> yeah, it's probably the most unique place we've been to. Yeah, it is. I mean, that walkway is absolutely insane. And it's a hell of a walk. It's a long walk in. And one thing I didn't realise is that you can actually drive on it. Uh, I'm not going to lie, I wasn't expecting that. Can you imagine living here? Like, literally there's like 30 odd people that live here. Or but 30 houses. How many was at one point? You were reading this morning, weren't you? Yeah, there was quite was, a few. Um, there was a lot. And there was like a school on here and church and all sorts, like back in the day. Whereas now, the kids that live on this island have to commute in boats every day to go to school. It was a tin, tin mining village. Right. So, like, the Phoenicians used to come here and get tin and take it around Europe from here. Thank the Phoenicians. So we get over to St. Michael's Mount, and what better thing to do than to go and get our first cream tea? Yes, it was our first Cornish cream tea. And then we literally just sat outside and watched as the tide came in and people got stranded. Yeah, the causeway just literally disappears under the tide. People don't care. They're just like, I'm going in there. Paddling like thigh height. <laughs> and this is where you see the wild Ange Kershaw putting in her 15 sugars to make sure her tea is sweet. Four, and they're like half sugar. Four? Yeah, off camera, and then another like four after that. Why is yours not having sugar in? Yeah, I've got my own. I just bought, I got you ten sugars. No, you did not. I did, I got what? you ten sugars. Why? Because that's how many sugars you have. No, you got me eight. Right, anyway, we're here, we're at the, um, we're at the cafe in St. Michael's Mount, and as you can see, that's the mainland. <laughs> it's day four, and it's about time that we got ourselves a cream tea. Yeah, Cornish cream tea, which means the jam goes on first and then the cream. Which is the correct way. Which is way. the correct way. You only do it the other way around in Devon, which is the wrong way. This is the wrong way. The wrong way. Cream teas. Cream teas. All he's got himself. Right, I put eight sugars in. Yeah, told you. <laughs> told you, just loving sugars. And then um, we've got ourselves a prawn we get to share as well. Yeah, it sounds wait. good. Prawn, lime and chive. Yeah. And we sit here and watch so the, uh, the path yeah. disappear. Yeah. All so these people rushing off. over whilst they can. I know. They've got... We've got half an hour until they're not allowed they to They literally anymore. shut the path before it gets dangerous. Yeah. So you can see now that the, uh, the water's gone across the path and everyone's just kind of stopping and wondering what to do. But they're taking their shoes off. <laughs> Another five minutes, I'd say that'll be gone, would you? Yeah. So that was, that was lunch, that was pretty nice, wasn't that it? That was nice. Feels slightly robbed on the prawn sandwich though, I'm not gonna lie. There were many prawns on it, wasn't no. there? <laughs> but the, uh, the scones, they were nice. Yes, tasty. And the best part about it, to be fair, was the view. Yeah, watching the um, actual walk-in disappear was cool. Does it see, like, literally go to like near waist height. I saw people wading across yeah, though to come in. they'll be swimming soon by the looks like, of it. Yeah. Some people don't want to pay the £6.50 to get back. But anyway, uh, we're now <laughs> heading... They're soaking when they get here though, yeah. like, literally. I think it's all part of the experience, though, to be fair. What, to come in and just like walk around, like... Yeah, 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 yeah. just soaked. You'll just see footprints as we're walking, though, with wet footprints. Yeah. Uh, but now we're heading all the way up there. Doing this much walking. <laughs> Getting old, I've got a dodgy knee. Are you ready, mate? You ready to go? Ollie! Ollie! We're ready, we're ready up! I'm gonna race you up there. Go. go! Anything you want me to do, just tell me you're gonna race. No one's regretting the life choices! Yeah, I've never run like a whale this deep. Ow! How are you doing, bud? Alright? My hip hurts. <laughs> Your hip hurts. <laughs> Trying to be me. <laughs> Ollie, I found your next place to sleep tonight. What do you reckon? In the giant's well. Should we put you down there? No, I'm not sleeping down there. No? No. He doesn't want to sleep in the giant's well. And I'm guessing the giant's well. This must be the legend that we read about, the Cornish legend of. The legend. The giant cormoran that took over St. Michael's Mount and started eating all the cows. And then Jack. The giant killer came one night from the little village that you can see opposite. Slayed him. And killed the giant, yeah. Really? He set a trap and we caught him. Cormor and the giant? Yeah. Jack the giant killer killed him. And his heart got off. See it?
I don't know about you guys, but I've had worse views. Ah! It's a blue beer. Worth the high cup. Yeah. Not quite at the top yet, though. No, we've still got a little bit to go up there. But. What a view. Wow. What there you go. View. There's the castle. We actually are real cannons. We are. What? You're real cannons. Actual real life cannons, pal. Take out the pirate ship. It's like a proper historical place at Michael Park. Yeah. There's loads of stuff this happened here, like wars through history. We're on a big so, like, ship, the cannons Daddy. would have been Daddy. actually Daddy. a real cannon. Daddy, we're on a, a pirate ship with a castle on. Are we? <laughs> and from here, and yeah. you can see like an open sea, it was the first beacon to be lit in a series of beacons that went all the way to London to warn them of the Spanish Armada invading. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. So they would have seen them coming, lit the first beacon, and then all of the different castles and monuments all the way up, lit them all the way to London to warn London that they were here. What time is it all? Three o'clock. No, but what time does it say? Technically, it is the right time. Why? Because summer we've sprung forward. Right. So this can't go forward now, can it? I don't know. Day, like, got, you just turn it a little bit, don't you? <laughs> they can't go That's how they reset like, the clock. They just come up and just like give it a bit it, of a push. It'll be right for give half. Give it a bit of a push. Then. So it'll be right for half of the year. <laughs> so one of the things that we could have paid for is the gardens, which is this section here, which is what was it, an extra tenner a person, and. Tenner a person, and I think it was seven five probably. Yeah. So we decided not to do it, but like there's a plate where we can kind of hang out. The lawn looks nice. Just one set and chill. Yeah. Like 15 minutes of chill on there would be lovely, wouldn't Look it? See. And as you can see now, the uh, oh, it's, gone. it's completely gone now. Yeah, it's behind well. the trees, so I can't show you. I'll show you a bit further up. There you go. You can see now that the path is completely underwater. And then this queue here is for what we're going to be doing to get on the boat later on. How do we get back all? In a boat! <laughs> in a speedboat. It was your first yeah. time on a boat, wasn't it? Speedboat I mean, probably isn't really not. the right That's a speedboat. There's a dog on the boat. Speedboat? No, it's not actually my... I, I didn't mean it's my first time on the boat. I have... Why, what other boat have you been in? A ferry. <laughs> A ferry. He's been in a ferry. A ferry. A ferry. A ferry. A ferry, we have. Yeah, you're right. But it was the first time on a speedboat, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah <it> is. <laughs> I can't believe it, literally like you, you I think I can't get to it. That was literally just all like a massive huge, huge beat. Yeah. What a way to finish off a perfect day than to let this little lad have his beach time. Although we didn't expect him to wreck his trainers. Oh come on. <laughs> <laughs> Wet. Yeah. Oh, I'm both of them are in. Are they stones? Did you have fun? Yeah, I did have fun in the water. And that ends our second vlog here in Cornwall. And here is what is coming up in the next one. Gaz bit off more than he could chew. <laughs> We got scammed. It's the biggest con in life, let's be honest. And Ollie got a little surprise. <laughs> Until next time. We'll see you on the next Cornwall adventure. Catch you later. Bye. <laughs> I saw it last week. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>